Hello everybody and welcome to Engineer SharePoint. I am Amna. So in this today's tutorial, I am going to show you how we can create hub sites in SharePoint Online and Office 365. So before I start, uh, let me uh, tell you a little bit about hub sites and all the features. Uh, major components of the hub site are uh, it brings site together under one umbrella means it brings a team site and communication site. Uh, under a one unit which is called a hub so that it can share some common attributes some common properties mostly the navigation so it shares the navigation across all the sites which are under the one hub suppose we have a one hub site and under one hub site we have n number of team sites and communication sites so that particular navigation will be shared across all the sites or in site collections uh, another point is that it shares the common theme and logo so the branding point of view it is very uh, um, effective uh, uh, it also rolls up the news and site activities so uh, on a hub site we can uh, roll up the news from different site collections and we can put under one uh, page one section which is a hub site section also the scope of search across all uh, sites are huge uh, means we can have search capability uh, within all the site collections and also uh, again i told you the consistent look and feel across all the site so these are some potential uh, features uh, which creates a hub site very efficient and uh, effective so now we'll uh, see how we can create hub site from scratch. So for that, I have to first uh, log into my site. So at this moment, I have one modern site uh, which has all the modern features and attribute. Uh, so in order to create a hub site, we have to click here on the app launcher and then admin. So we'll click here. We'll open a new screen, admin. Under admin section, which has all the admin related activities, uh, we'll go and click on SharePoint. So under this uh, SharePoint, uh, we have a site link. Under sites, we have active sites. So we'll click here. So this screen commonly uh, lets us know how all active sites are, uh, what all sites are available which are active at this moment. So to create or to register any site as a hub site, we have to choose. So I'll choose this modern site as my uh, hub site. So as soon as I select one site you can see this option uh, is visible for me and we'll see register as a hub site or associate with the hub site so if you already have a one hub site then you can associate this site to your uh, hub but since we do not have any hub so we have to create it newly so we'll register this as a hub site Now I have to give a display name for the hub site. So uh, for the demo, I'll give a hub. my hub, and all the people who can have access to this hub site. Uh, one another point which I want to bring is that uh, only admin has access to create a hub site um, all other uh, site owners can associate sites to the hub but they cannot have access uh, they cannot create basically any hub so if you want to create a hub site you have to have the admin access admin right without that you won't be able to create it so now i'll add some people and 
I added myself and one more person. So I have added two person and click on save now. So as soon as I have registered a site as a hub site, you can see under hub, uh, this thing came my hub and it tells us that this is the hub site. So now we'll open and see again the modern site which is already here. We'll just uh, refresh it. Okay. So after we refreshed it, you can see at the very top uh, section after the launcher, we have one link came up, which is a uh, my hub, and this is the name of the hub which we have created just now, and also the option to add some links here. Uh, if you look at this uh, page, another thing you'll notice is that under the hub, we are now given the option to create a site. So there are uh, two things uh, which we can do here. We can create a new site um, under a hub here uh, from here itself. Or also if you have already a site created, you can associate that site in a hub which I told you some time back. So now we'll see both the options uh, before I'll create a site here itself. So as I told you, it brings team site and communication site together under a hub. So we have given two options here, whether we can create a team site or we can create a communication site. So I'll create both. First, I'll go and choose a uh, create team site. So my, my team site. Give some description and some other things private and public so let it be if you have some additional owner which you want to add to this site you can do it otherwise you can click finish So this site is created. Again, I go back here to my hub and I create one more. This time I'll create a communication site. Okay, this is also created. So now, under this hub, we created two sites. Uh, and uh, so now we'll uh, again go to App Launcher Admin. And under SharePoint. active sites as you can see here uh, we had created uh, two sites which is my communication site and uh, my team site and uh, in the hub uh, column you can see here the association like it is associated under one hub so these two sites we created uh, from the hub now I'll see how uh, any existing site we can associate so i have another uh, site communication site com com1 so i have selected this and now i'll associate this with the hub so here we have uh, given the option uh, we have to choose uh, if you have two three hubs created which one you want to associate from which you want to associate your uh, site since we have my hub so i'll choose here and save so as you can see here uh, now we have associate three site collections 
to one hub which is my hub again we'll go and refresh the next uh, tutorial i'll show you how you can create uh, some uh, navigation common navigation which will be shared across all the sites and also uh, how we can change theme and logo so please stay tuned and subscribe our channel uh, please uh, do let me know if you have any comments uh, to this particular tutorial uh, i'll definitely reply you back thank you so much and have a nice day